Welcome to another Friday and another big night in. This week, chili con carne, but not the way we've done it before. It's Texan style. Yes, it's going to be rich, it's going to be beefy, it's got a ton of toppings, and like all good things that come from Texas, the chips are high. Or the steaks are high. I got it wrong. Ah, oh, no, I actually did get it wrong. That, that's, <laughs> no, no, you yeah, get it wrong. Yeah, the steaks are high. We're playing with chips. Oh, here we go. Have a beer. Grab a bag of loads. We get messy. So now it's entirely up to you whether you do it in a bowl or whether you do like a walking taco. A walking taco? So basically, <laughs> you just snip your lid off and then you put your Texan chilli in there. It's a little bit of cheese. Oh, they do this at sports games, don't they? Yeah, it's like disposable bag, a little bit of chilli. Or you just empty your bag into your bowl. This is no normal Jamie chilli. Oh, I've done an amazing job. Whoa, that's great. That's really rich. So if you look around, it's not just minced beef in here. Bacon. It started with smoky bacon, charred off, browned meat, and all the awesome flavours. And then from there, it's all done in one pot, and you just layer it up. Turns out, you can't have chilli nachos without making a chilli first. Uh, yeah, and the beautiful thing about this is it's one pot cook. So it's about layering up the flavours in our big one pot. It starts off with smoky bacon into oil, cook it off, scoop it out, and then throw in the beef. We've got about a kilo, so it's loads. It's like third of a cow. It's leg. Next up on this flavour train, while our beef browns off, we're going to peel and dice up a couple of onions, two green chilies, and a whole bunch of garlic. Leave the seeds in or out. Your choice. Where, where, whereabouts does this flavour train go? It, all around the state, with lots of other flavour stops. Funky town. <laughs> We're uh, leaving the seeds in because we are absolute lads. With all our veggies chopped, they're going to go into the same pan now that the meat's out. But you've still got all that meaty, oily, juicy stuff. Mm -hmm. Cook it in that with a lid for about five minutes till the onions are soft. And you'll never guess what the secret ingredient was. What was it? What was oh, it, it was, um, was it? coffee. Now, contrary to popular belief, we're not just making a chilli because I, I, I love chilli. We're making it because we tried a brand new type of chilli when we went to Texas with no beans. Yeah, that is the Texan way, apparently. And depending on which chilli you try, there's loads of different flavours. So we're going to go in with our next flavour stock, which is all the dried stuff. And if you want all the weights and measurements, you can get them in the link down below. But basically, coriander, cumin, chilli powder, oregano, cinnamon. This one threw us coffee, instant coffee, depth of flavour, and cornmeal, which is more of a consistency, viscosity thing. Once your spices have all cooked out, then splash in a little bit of beer. What that will do is kind of deglaze the pan and form almost a paste with that cornmeal. Then splash in all the rest of the liquid, the rest of the beer, the tin of chopped tomatoes. Refill the same tin with water and splash that in, and all of your meat can go in too. Heat it to a very gentle simmer and bubble away for two and a half, three hours. Because we're making a Texan chili, we've tried to be like authentic and get real Texan beer. So we've got Lone Star beer, which we had whilst we were in uh, Austin in Texas, and it, it's delicious. But I have just noticed their slogan is the national beer of Texas. Isn't Texas a state? It's, you, you can't be a, nation, a national thing of a state. Like, the state-wide beer, fine. But you're not a national, you're not a country, Texas. But they've got a cowboy star, so it's fine. The best thing about this chili is the smell in this place. Yeah. Right. What can smell now is bacon, coffee. It stunk my trousers off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, next week, fish tacos. That yeah. sounds amazing. It does sound amazing, doesn't it? Uh, if it sounds amazing to you, then go to sortedfood.com. The recipe's only already there, so that you can get all the ingredients and then get ready to cook along with us next Friday. There you go. You're welcome. Don't click away yet, because we've got a question still. But this question comes from... Amory, on the same theme, says, if you could describe each other with one recipe, what would it be and why? Oh. Yours is done, so. Okay, fine. Chili, you're sat in front of yours. Yeah. His is obviously salted caramel with peanut butter and peanut butter and a bit more chocolate and some peanut butter. Yep. Yeah. Ben's doesn't even really need an answer because it's just quiche. quiche. Yeah, quiche. It's, it's just quiche. Beat it though. It's quiche. It's just Whereas quiche. yours is probably smoked salmon. Eggs Benedict. Smoked asparagus. Smoked. Yeah. High cholesterol. High cholesterol. Yeah. And just, Butter. <laughs> <laughs>